Fulton City Commissioner Kathy McDowell and Mayor Gary Krantz took turns painting fine lines Thursday on Railroad Avenue, creating back-end diagonal parking spaces. It was their show of support for the so-called Road Diet Project between 3rd and 5th Streets. The downtown advisory group and City of Shelton officials a month ago restriped that section of Railroad Avenue, slimming it down from four to two lanes. The intent is to create slower, safer traffic lanes, add more street parking, and increase pedestrian comfort and safety. The experiment will last a year. After that, the Visioning Advisory Group and city leaders will consider public opinion to determine if the temporary changes become permanent. Landscaping and other aesthetic design improvements such as brick crosswalks and bump-out curb corners could be a part of the final plan. Commissioner McDowell praises the project so far and says she plans to try out the back-end angle parking for herself. I love it. I think it's the best. There's people that are negative and there's people that are positive. I think I've heard more positive. Public Works Director Greg Clark says the back-end diagonal parking had to be approved by the Washington Department of Transportation. That's why it came a month later than the rest of the restriping. Clark explains what could happen in the future. It's actually preferred by WashDOT to do back in angle, so that's why we decided to do it here, see how the public likes it. If we are finding that people just don't like it, then we'll consider possibly requesting front end angle parking. It would require an additional submittal to WashDOT, but we, uh, we want to do the right thing. We want to see what our community wants here. and. Uh, this was the desire of most of the people on the, on the steering visioning committee, so we're trying back in angle parking. The Railroad Avenue Road Diet Project faces a whole lot of public opinion before it becomes reality. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News.